The distraught father of a missing Innisfail boy has spent the day searching with police divers in the Johnston River for any clues to his disappearance. Three-year-old Jamal Little was last seen running along the Innisfail Wharf yesterday afternoon. Police searched above the surface as specialised divers departed Brisbane, but family wouldn't wait. Diving into crocodile-populated waters for any sign of Jamal Little. It's all the way up under the trees, all the way, pretty much. Um, we've done here twice so far, so... Yeah. Bryce Little has been diving for signs of his missing son since daybreak. His desperation was understood. In relation to people themselves that are non-trained, I'd prefer them not to go in the water, but that being said, I'm not going to stop them if they do. Three-year-old Jamal vanished from the Innisfail Wharf yesterday afternoon. Rod in hand, he asked his father if he could go fishing. He said no. That was the last time he was seen. All night we, we figured that he must have drowned. Um, but now I feel as if he hasn't drowned because there's, there's no sighting of the rod on the bottom down there. Crews across the state have been mobilised to aid the operation. Community spirit is also shining through. People are coming down and asking how they can help. Uh, some people, were, we've put them with SES teams to, to assist. Um, other people are, are happy to help with the welfare side of things. So we've got some people back at SES headquarters. Police say it's rare to continue missing persons operations through the night. But due to Jamal's young age, crews are prepared to stay on the river until the little boy is found. All are hoping this energetic boy is just looking for a new spot to drop a line. Probably could be near the river because he loves fishing so much that uh, just keep an eye out. James Van Leeuwen, 7 News.